In breaking news, we have a horrific tragedy that is currently developing as it appears that allegedly a 20-year-old man has jumped off of a Royal Caribbean cruise ship during the early morning hours in front of his family as well as other onlookers. This story is absolutely heartbreaking. We are going to go into the details that are available so far. Just keep in mind this story is developing, meaning there is currently a search and rescue underway right now. We're also going to dive a little bit deeper into situations such as this because while man overboards are rare on board cruise ships, there are things that you should be aware of. This alleged tragedy took place this morning on April 4th at approximately 4 a.m. on board Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas, which is currently on its last day, a sea day, during a four-day cruise out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, going over to the Caribbean. Apparently, there is a man named Brian James that saw the whole situation take place as he was with the 20-year-old and his brother in a hot tub at approximately 3.30 a.m. Between 3.30 a.m. and 4 a.m., all the occupants within the hot tub were getting out when the 20-year-old man and his brother ran into their father. Apparently, the 20-year-old and the father got into it because, according to Brian Sims, the 20-year-old had clearly been drinking, and obviously, he's underage. He was drunk, and they were fussing back and forth, and out of nowhere, the 20-year-old said that he would fix it right now and jumped out of one of the windows and unfortunately falling into the water off of the cruise ship, thus going overboard. After the incident took place, naturally the onlookers as well as the family that saw all of it take place were shocked and there was a lot of yelling and screaming. The staff on board Liberty of the Seas was contacted and they launched a search and rescue effort while also contacting the Coast Guard. And as of right now, the search and rescue is still currently underway. Obviously my thoughts and prayers are with the family as well as everybody that saw that horrific event take place. They must be traumatized to some degree. Now, at this point in time, we do not know whether the alcohol was the only factor in the equation that the 20 year old made an impulsive decision or there were some other issues going on at that point in time but still no matter how you slice this this is absolutely sad tragic and i do hope that the 20 year old is found now there are three things that i personally think we should all be mindful of when it comes to a sad situation like this for starters i say this all the time on this channel watch your kids on board cruise ships don't get me wrong this man is 20 years old he is a fully capable adult however he is underage in terms of drinking. I've been on cruise ships many a time. I want to say realistically for the past, let's say two and a half years up until this point, I've been on a ship for maybe, I don't know what, every other week. Usually I was taking, what, two cruises a month or something of that nature. And even in the nightclubs and all around the ship, there were people that were under the age of 21 that were drinking. Number two, if there is some other issue that was going on, whether it's emotional, mental, because that is a very impulsive and crazy decision that this 20 year old made to just jump out of a window into the ocean just always be conscious and aware of the people that you are cruising with if you are a couple you're with your side piece or you're with your children or family members and you know that you bicker and fight back and forth and from time to time things can get a little or extremely heated maybe a cruise is not the best for that particular matchup now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that a couple or family that argues from time to time should shouldn't cruise it is normal we all do it trust me however if you guys tend to get in heated arguments and maybe let's say in the past things have gotten physical for example I'd never take a cruise with my brother I know that him and I we can we can get pretty rowdy from time to time we've had two fights our whole lives but that is enough for me to say that if there was a disagreement I wouldn't want it to be on a cruise number three let this tragic story be a reminder to all of you that even when everybody sees the event happen right then and there and I'm going to assume the Royal Caribbean they launched a search and rescue effort immediately. It is still like finding a needle in a haystack. There are so many calculations that have to be done. You have to calculate the currents and you also have to contact the Coast Guard and deploy any boat that they're going to have to have a search and rescue and all of the lights to see where that 20 year old has gone. And as you can see right now, they are still searching for him. Anyway, once again, my thoughts and prayers do go out to this family. I do hope this 20 year old is found safe and sound and we can avoid situations like this from ever happening happening again but of course let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already and know as usual i love and appreciate every single one of you i'll see you later take it easy